Sarah, you are a postdoc with the Casinos Lab. What are you working on? So I study a novel population of glia uh, that we call map glia for motor exit points. It is a quite novel cell type uh, oh, wow. that the Casinos Lab has first described. Uh, and so it's very new and very exciting. <laughs> glia are usually um, the non-neuronal cell types in the nervous system. So everything that is not a neuron in the brain, in the spinal cord, uh, is going to be a glia. And they do, they do a lot. They provide uh, support to neurons, they clean up the CNS, the PNS. Uh, they are important for regeneration. So what does your specific type of glia do within the nervous system? So what is very special about that type of glia is that they originate in the central nervous system, mm -hmm. so the spinal cord that you and I have, and they leave the spinal cord to function in the peripheral nervous system along motor nerves. Mm -hmm. It is really unique. There are two known types of malinating glia mm -hmm. that were described at least a century ago. Uh, and so the fact that this cell type is so new and so unique and hybrid uh, makes them very, very cool. I use zebrafish as a model organism uh, because zebrafish develop really fast and also externally, mm -hmm. like outside of the mom. So we can image them, they are fairly transparent. Mm -hmm. We can create a lot of transgenic reporter lines. Mm -hmm. So basically we can drive GFP or any other fluorescent protein uh, in any specific tissue we want mm -hmm. and we can really ask a lot of cool questions. Do you do a lot of microscopy surgery with them? or? So I don't do surgeries mm -hmm. because zebrafish embryos are very very small, they're like one millimeter long. Oh wow. Um, but yes, we do a lot of microscopy. So basically we have two confocal microscopes in the lab mm -hmm. that are almost lab members. <laughs> um, we use them so much <laughs> and yes, most of my experiments are uh, live imaging mm -hmm. coupled with genetics as much as we can do. And you're trying to understand how these cell populations form and move? My project is really really fast <laughs> trying to understand where they come from, how they develop, what mechanisms they use, how do they know they have to leave the spinal cord to function in the peripheral nervous system mm -hmm. and are they closer to the peripheral cells or the central cells because they are really in between. And how did you get interested in this project? How do you find the Casinos lab? So I did my PhD uh, using zebrafish already and I was interested in glial cells mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted to do a postdoc in zebrafish also looking at glial cells mm -hmm. but I needed to change something, change not the model but the, the topic a bit mm -hmm. and so when I found uh, Sarah's lab across papers on PubMed mm -hmm. Uh, I thought it was really cool and like a great opportunity to look at a different type of glia and mm -hmm. still, still fit uh, with my general interest. Mm -hmm. And also I wanted to work with a female PI so she really checked mm -hmm. all of the boxes. It was also something important to um, go abroad mm -hmm. and, and live a different scientific experience and like academic experience. Mm -hmm. So for those who might be less familiar with what a postdoc is, what's your day-to-day -day job like? So I conduct my research, I have a project just like a grad student. Mm -hmm. The main difference is that people expect you to be more independent. I help mentor grad students and undergrad students in the lab. I spend quite some time troubleshooting everybody's experiment, which is I think one of the most fun parts of being at the bench, like trying to understand why things don't work. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like an after grad student life. But you need to think towards like, your own goal and your, um, your own questions because eventually you want to start your own lab and you don't compete with your mentor. So you have to create your own path. And yeah. um, so it has to fit with what your lab studies, but it has to become your project and your story. Mm -hmm.